All right, so uh, battery on the uh, camel went flat, but septic's all in. Uh, we're just filling it up with water um, just to get it to sort of settle in and uh, start cultivating. Um, so owner just wanted me to spread all this clay crap out. We were going to move it onto the other side for a berm, but being it's just clay and shit dirt, really it's not going to grow anything. So um, we'll get some uh, nice sort of uh, soil trucked in on that. So uh, next up is um, I need the trench for the power. So I'll be going around about where the door is there. There, there. Um, from there I've just exposed the um, power cable there because uh, I've got to get under that um, so we're going to run power from uh, trench from there down to the um, where the hose is going in there so that's power trench that's got to be at 600 um, and then I need to dig a pad for the uh, water tank Walk around there. Um, and that, uh, it's only, it's not going to be uh, a whole lot of work. It's basically just scratch it out. Um, take it from the high, put it on the low, and throw some, uh, so you can see there's a mark there, four meters square. Um, and uh, basically shovel the soil that way. It'll be sinking it down about 300. Um, Got a uh, another truckload of fines, so just another meter, which is about all it needs, just the base, just for the tank to sit on. And we're going to have the tank here tomorrow, probably. So that's good. Uh, we'll have a sparky tomorrow, um, and drain layer on Friday. So it's all go, go, go. Um, but yeah, we'll just. Uh, I'm going to go and do that trench now while I've got that bucket on. Uh, save me changing buckets willy nilly. Nobody likes willy nilly. Um, all right, so uh, we'll set you up and we'll get going. All right, I haven't tested this yet, obviously, uh, but I've just done this with my eyechromator, and we'll have a look. I know I'm a bit high on this side. I can I can see that I'm higher up up on that side, but that one, oh, not bad. Like literally three millimeters that way, and yeah, definitely high on that side. So, but that's alright, I can scratch it down about another 20 mil, and we're happy days. How easy was that?
sorry about the wind. Um, I don't know where the other camera ran out of memory. I'm either running out of batteries or running out of memory. It's like a story of my life. Anyway, there's the trench uh, for the power. Um, and that'll go down to the septic. Now, this will also double as the um, drainage line. But for that, we will be backfilling a section of it. Um, and then going from here up to the corner of the house. Um, and then basically halfway about there we'll start skipping off that way um, to this end of the tanks so the, this end of the tanks so that's that um, yeah uh, tip of the day when you're digging your trenches uh, keep the sides clear see I've kept the, the sides nice and clear whoever's laying the pipe be it plumber or sparky or whatever they'll thank you for it um, you know, there's nothing worse than trying to work around a trench and shit falling in it and you're falling in it and some animals are falling in it and stuff. So, so that's that and the trench back here is done and that's the uh, tank. So um, in the morning I've got to throw a post up here for the Sparky for, to put his plugs on because that's a uh, pump there and this... this um, uh, trench will get actually backfilled completely and then there'll be a new trench from here coming to the tank um, this end of the tank and sort of from that end of the house coming through the, this way as well so so there it is so all right well it's been a pretty productive day I've moved a bit of dirt uh, um, customer is absolutely over the moon um, told him to get me some cheese while he was up there. So I'm going to pack up and bugger off. Alright, get back to work.